I would say that the banks are robbing American people in plain English. That story, just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to lenders trying to speed or fraudulently foreclose in this country. But why would the banks be so anxious to behave this way? And why would politicians in the Treasury Department allow them to do it? For a long time I felt without style or grace. Wearing shoes with no socks in cold weather. I knew my heart was in the right place. I knew I'd be able to do these things. As we watch him digging his own grave, it was important to know that was where he's at. Can't afford to stop. That is what he believed. must fill out paperwork accurately and make sure that when the home's title changes hands, so too does the documentation. Motive simple. Money. Banks profited by packaging and selling those toxic home loans, and then profited again by betting against those same securities. A bet in essence that a fraudulent loan they made wouldn't be paid back. I don't know how you solve this problem. The I want to make sure that anybody who's watching this can understand what it is that you're saying. The point is that the people who bought a lot of these toxic securities was your pension fund, the teacher's pension fund, the judge's pension fund, uh, the police and firefighters' pension fund. And those pension funds were sold these mortgages on the 
belief and verification, both from the ratings agencies, from the banks, and implicitly from the government, that those loans were good. And when we find out that the loans were not good through these foreclosure processes that they're trying to avoid, you either have to pay back the pension that you've raped or you have to ignore it and continue to drive the system the way that it's being driven. But that doesn't seem to be politically viable much longer. If you look at this, uh, Jennifer, how much longer can we avoid dealing with the core issue of banks making money by selling non-conforming loans to the government by the trillion and then going forward betting on their collapse and then donating the profits to politicians who say it's okay